കാസർഗോഡിൻ്റെ എല്ലാ പ്രേക്ഷകർക്കും ടോക് ടൈമിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം ഇന്ന് ടോക് ടൈമിൽ അതിഥിയായിട്ടുള്ളത് ഡോക്ടർ വൈഭവ് സക്സേന ഐ പി എസ് ആണ് സി വൺ വൺ മോർ തിങ്സ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സമാധാൻ വൈ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് കെയിംസ് സി ഓൾ മൈ സോ മെനി ജനവൈത്രി പോലീസ് സ്റ്റേഷൻസ് ആർ ഹിയർ സ്റ്റിൽ സ്റ്റിൽ യു ആർ അപ്ലൈങ് ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സമാധാനം വൈസ് സി ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സമാധാനം ഇസ് നോട്ട് സംതിങ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ന്യൂ it okay. was always there yeah. petition uh, uh, handling was always happening yeah. uh, after i joined here ella divasam enike korea calls kettittundayirundu ki sir njan paradhi nalkiyittundayirundu pakshe idu vare action onnum nadathunnilla okay pinne ende paradhiyil case onnum register cheyunnilla pinne kuriche ayal vasinen kuriche property dispute aanu pinne kuriche vere vere cheriya cheriya prashnangal undu so uh, for me as a district sp yeah. bigger problems are important but smaller problems are more important yeah karanam uh, you know we can easily solve the bigger problems yeah. if there is a big criminal we can catch him yeah. everybody knows he is yeah, yeah. he is doing this it is very easy if anybody is bringing yeah. big quantity ndps we can catch okay. small small things are difficult to solve mm-hmm. and public uh, is bothered about those small things more you know we are catching big quantity ndps we are mm. co- catching hawala mm. we are uh, uh, detecting murder cases mm-hmm. rape cases poxo cases we are putting the accused uh, in a ta- time bound manner inside the prison that is okay okay people are happy yes. but they are more happy if uh, their small small problems are solved yeah. so till their small problems are not solved mm-hmm. they will not have a very positive image about police സോ അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് ഞാൻ ഈ ഓപ്പറേഷൻ സമാധാനം ഇത് പുതിയ രീതിയല്ല പക്ഷെ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ലൈക്ക് യു നോ ഓൾഡ് വൈൻ ഇൻ അ ന്യൂ ബോട്ടിൽ സോ ലൈക്ക് ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് ഐ മേക്ക് ഷ്യൂർ ദാറ്റ് സീനിയർ ഓഫീസേഴ്സ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡിംഗ് എസ് പി ജില്ലാ പോലീസ് മേധാവിയും പേഴ്സണലി നേരിട്ട് പരാതി സ്വീകരിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടി എല്ലാ പോലീസ് സ്റ്റേഷൻ പരിധിയില് സ്വന്തം ഹി വിൽ ഗോ ആൻഡ് ഹി വിൽ സ്പെൻഡ് ടൈം അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഈച്ച് ആൻഡ് എവറി പ്രോബ്ലം because uh, we also know kasargod is a big district uh, okay. geographically mm-hmm. uh, you know a person who is at chittarikal vellarikund mm-hmm. he may not have ex- direct access yeah. to sp to meet sure. the sp yeah. so why can't an sp go to mm-hmm. you know that particular there, police there station okay, to receive it directly okay so uh, it Excuse was me, sir, what kind of complaints are more coming see many complaints were there like mm-hmm. uh, sometimes a petitioner might have given a complaint yeah. uh, but uh, some petition inquiry might have been undergoing and uh, yeah. maybe because of some reasons some okay. valid reasons okay. fir might not have been registered mm-hmm. so uh, i ordered that immediately case should be registered mm-hmm. after that as a part of investigation we can do whatever you know legal uh, provisions allow us mm-hmm. secondly uh, you know especially for uh, society people okay. the biggest problem is related to traffic okay especially when the schools uh, get over Okay. during afternoon mm-hmm. that time a lot of complaints came that uh, the market junction areas get mm-hmm. choked yeah so uh, we understand we did a study mm-hmm. we understand because you know national highway construction yeah. work yeah, is going, going on, on. Yeah. so uh, lanes are narrow it's a temporary problem but wherever we could solve it okay. like placing extra manpower strategically mm-hmm. at those locations during yeah. those timings at that particular place mm-hmm. or increasing the presence of home guards mm-hmm. so the problem was solved and the, the public was uh, to a large extent satisfied mm-hmm. you know these were quick solutions which we can do immediately mm-hmm. or we can you know uh, divert the ways mm-hmm. you know this uh, this is something which uh, police can very easily do okay. but uh, once we solve these problems the satisfaction of public grows many fold okay so uh, that gave us lot of uh, goodwill among the public mm-hmm. of course there are a lot of civil cases where police cannot directly interfere Yeah. but there also as a part of our police janmaitri teams were put in mm-hmm. like some property dispute were there yeah. so we helped the petitioners in mm-hmm. coming to a solution mm-hmm. mutually okay a lot of uh, petitioners they yeah. uh, are not even aware whether uh, that particular property is actually who is uh, who is the legal owner yeah so that way like uh, our it's police such a situation how sir what is the limitation police, of police yeah yeah directly police cannot take any uh, yeah. criminal is, criminal case yeah till there is no yeah. criminal complaint yeah you know like okay. uh, suppose if there is a no man's land where we don't know hmm. whose property it is yeah. and if the person is complaining of trespass okay. and the other person is saying that i did not trespass that yeah. is legally my property yeah. then what we are doing is that we are referring the matter to the tehsildars or the village Maybe officer officers, my yeah. janmaitri team will help those uh, mm-hmm. petitioners and the counter petitioners mm-hmm. to uh, you know wait mm-hmm. uh, till we get the report 
and then if the report comes in favor of one particular person Correct. then uh, very in a very friendly way we can make them come to a mutual understanding then that, you that know, problem, this is the yeah. problem okay. and this is how it can be solved otherwise mm. uh, the you know they can uh, any time they can approach the honorable courts mm -hmm. so i mean that solution is that option is also always with them mm -hmm. uh, but more often than not they prefer choosing our soft approach okay. we are very soft in that way because okay. uh, kerala's janmaitri is very very famous yeah. so we utilize janmaitri in those situations very very effectively okay. see see sir we have seen that in media that chandera kasra code bekel police station uh, that we have given a best performance award how it is came sir what is the criteria what about other stations uh, see kasar god uh, detected a lot of commercial quantity ndps cases yeah. in that particular period idu mathramalla uru parya 302 case le pradi absconding pradi after a lot of effort lot of planning that person was caught after 2 to 3 years mm -hmm. so for that particular time period that was an excellent achievement yeah. lot of cyber analytics lot of technological uh, uh, you know improvisations were done to catch that accused okay and uh, um, if you uh, i mean during 31st mm -hmm. december 1st okay. january time mm -hmm. we were anticipating lot of drugs would be coming to our district from neighboring states okay especially in these parties and all new year parties and all okay that time kasargod police station uh, did an excellent work in cracking a lot of commercial quantity cases which could prevent us prevent the uh, youngsters mm -hmm. youths for getting into the trap okay. so that was an excellent work mm -hmm. secondly uh, bekal because uh, bekal international beach festival uh, yeah. was uh, carried out it was Damn. a big yeah. very big achievement for a small uh, police station like bekal okay. uh, with limited manpower okay. uh, that is a classic example that if proper planning is done yeah. proper scheme is prepared strategic uh, uh, utilization of resources is done mm -hmm. then uh, we can host very very big events mm -hmm. uh, not only that bekal also did a lot of good work okay. in uh, drugs in detecting lot of drugs cases mm -hmm. chandera of course there was a very sensational yeah, case yeah. murder yeah. case prijesh yeah. murder yeah. case and uh, initially it was looking like a normal unnatural death case yeah but uh, the investigation team did an excellent work yeah. uh, sho chandera yeah. dysp kanangad okay. everybody did an excellent work mm -hmm. and all the accused firstly to mm -hmm. uh, find out that this is not a unnatural death it okay. is a murder okay then all the murder accused were caught within four days okay so it was a very very fast basis, yeah. very very fast and mm -hmm. very aggressive approach Mm -hmm. they deserved all that okay. see, see sir we have seen in, in our home district also we can see that ponzi scheme see sadharana nammalu malayaligal kettathu idokke ivide ponzi scheme ennathu ivide angane sadharana edil undayilla of course uh, 1975 on, onwards the scheme is in india okay then what about so here also one case was there gbg what, what is the status sir that one uh, see uh, as per the birds act 2019 yeah uh, notified by the government of india so yeah. uh, nobody can take any deposits okay for giving no private person can take any deposit for giving uh, any interest or uh, for you know promising any okay. uh, exaggerated returns yeah other than uh, the government organizations nationalized or bank, okay. the organizations which have been recognized by rbi okay reserve bank of india mm -hmm. or uh, organizations which have taken permission from the government okay other than that no organization no company no business yeah. can take deposits from investors with the promise of returning them Huge back amount. with interest yeah so uh, there is a very dedicated act for that that is the birds act 2009 yeah 2009 there is a competent authority in that and yeah. uh, there are designated courts uh, yeah. where if uh, such and such case comes yes, okay so uh, system is already there yeah, yeah. from 2019 yeah. onwards system system was yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so when you talk about uh, this kasargod case this yeah. particular case yeah. because case is still under investigation yeah so uh, uh, we cannot uh, discuss it much okay sir but uh, i mean uh, something similar to uh, this buts yeah uh, was uh, being it was being suspected yeah and lot of complaints came okay. when uh, verified when after verification it was found that it is coming under the uh, you know, yeah. under this, this bus so the case was registered and okay. uh, both the accused were arrested also 
then when we see sir what about the uh, customers part sir because the according to the act it is the customers are the priority there there is an uh, competent authority was there see with your limit sir how, how what about the customers sir how they are returned the how they are getting the money back as per the birds act yeah. uh, whenever any any uh, any business or any company is found uh, to be violating birds act yeah so uh, their uh, accounts bank accounts property is seized seized and uh, as per the birds act only uh, the customers are the priority like the yeah. investors are yeah. the priority okay so the money um, is first returned to the investors by okay. the designated courts or yeah. the competent authorities okay um, i mean as per the orders of the designated courts only okay. after the return of money only yeah. other uh, liabilities like taxes mm -hmm. says mm -hmm. they are all uh, you know deducted Okay. So investors are the priority as okay. per the Budget Act, okay. 2019. Okay, uh, of course, sir, I can understand. There's a limitation for because the case is that investigation is running. Other things are in yeah. Budget Act. According to Budget Act, I had to go three is the court is there. Though we cannot uh, discuss more much about this thing. Yes, sir. Say, uh, let me. Uh, but talk. I can uh, yeah. I can promise you that uh, Kerala government and our police headquarters yeah. are very very serious regarding this issue. Okay. And uh, a lot of times in lot of reviews, uh, we get uh, very clear directions yeah. that any such complaint should be taken very, very seriously. Okay. Issue is that, that uh, again, once again, I can tell you that during COVID time, lot of people, yeah. they had to sit at home, yeah. they lost their livelihood. Mm -hmm. hmm? So, any investment in share market yeah. or in cryptocurrencies, yeah. they increase many fold. Yeah. Because uh, that was, uh, you know, uh, people thought that by sitting at their homes itself, they can invest in yeah. either shares or in the companies which can invest in shares from on their behalf. Okay. So, like that also, after that also, lot of such, uh, yeah. you know, companies, Ponzi schemes, they came up. Okay. Uh, so Say, excuse me, sir, company uh, that uh, deposits in a share market, that also illegal? Uh, see, uh, there is, uh, an, a company cannot take investment, Depos investment yeah. okay. from investors. Yeah. Yeah and promise them that they will return it Even with huge exaggerated return. interest. Yeah, huge that returns. is violating but sir. Yeah, okay, hmm? okay. After that, whether the company uses that money yeah. to make returns from cryptocurrencies, yeah. trading, crypto trading, okay. there are a lot of platforms, yeah. or that company uses that money to invest in share market. Okay. Because normally in share market, uh, what my understanding is, yeah. uh, all these, most of these Ponzi scheme people, they are investing money for doing option selling. Okay. Uh, there are futures and options. Okay. So they would be doing option selling. Okay. Uh, wh whether in cryptos or in the share market. Okay. For option selling, they require a huge capital. Okay. That is what yeah. we call as margin. Yeah. Okay. So that capital they are uh, taking, collecting from these investors. From investors. They may be profitable, they may be making profit, but as per, uh, as per the, the legislations, they are not supposed to do that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, sir. They are not supposed to do that. Okay. So uh, they are, uh, I mean, uh, they are doing a crime. Mm -hmm. So financial fraud, a crime. Yeah. For which they will be liable, held accountable in the respective courts. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, I heard that. I see. I can see it from your Facebook. It's. See, I, I have seen that, sir. You are in doctor's family. Yes. How to reach here, sir? This this civil services in this one. <laughs> uh, my calling was always for civil services. Yeah. Uh, uh, you are right, like uh, most of my family members uh, yeah. are from medical uh, yeah. fraternity only. Mm -hmm. I am also an MBBS doctor. Mm. Uh, after I finished my MBBS, I was actually debating my priorities. Yeah. And uh, I thought that, uh, you know, I should uh, give it a serious try mm. to get into civil services. Okay. Because my reach is uh, increasing many fold. Mm -hmm. I was working as uh, a medical officer at one of the CHCs mm -hmm. uh, in UP. Mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, my reach was limited to the patients who were coming to me. Okay. If a pregnant lady is coming and if she is asking for medicines, I can maximum give her hematinics. Okay. You know, but uh, if I am a civil servant, I can make sure that my police gen my three people, mm. or if uh, I mean they visit mm. all those uh, you know families wherever any you know uh, any pregnant ladies are there who are at a disadvantaged family, whether if they are you know having proper access to medicines or not. Okay. You know, my range is not limited to one particular clinic. Okay. Okay. It is uh, increasing many fold. Mm -hmm. So it's a, just a short example which I gave. Okay. Uh, but of course, like uh, you know, uh, the 
calling was always there for civil services. Okay. But had I not gotten into services, I would have been very happy in medical profession. Mm -hmm. It's a very noble profession. It okay. was always, you know, mm -hmm. very dear to me. See, sir, Kasarod Shem Prayash Chayarkala, in message? No, a very polite request uh, from all the students. Uh, please say no to drugs. It's a big problem and uh, it has got very serious health related uh, complications. Your entire career get ruined if you, if any NDPS case is registered against you. I personally feel very bad when any, you know, any student uh, is an accused in any of our cases. But then we cannot do anything. They will not be getting passports, they will not be getting visas, uh, their job prospects will be totally, totally, you know, destroyed. But uh, please, it's a very, very humble request, very polite request, please say no to drugs. If you find anybody uh, consuming in your neighborhood, please inform police they require help. And uh, once again, I reiterate my commitment. Kasargod Police is always for you. Ningal ka bendi, nammal epola mundalo. Thank you. Okay. Kasargod is in the talk time in the next episode. I will sign you in this episode. Kasargod is in the Prashagarod. Samsari jay. Kasargod SP. Dr. Vaibhav Saksen IPS. Kasargod is in the next episode. Kasargod is in the next episode. Nanni, Namaskar. Thank you, sir.